Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is Modeling Information Retrieval. In this video, I am going to explain classical vector model. Theory and exercises are covered in this video. Now, let us start. This is a taxonomy of information retrieval model. In last video, I explained Boolean model. Now, in this video, I am going to explain vector model with example. Vector model. The use of binary weights which is used in Boolean model is too restrictive. Hence, a framework with partial matching is proposed. This is achieved by assigning a non-binary weights to index term in queries and in documents. Finally, these term, weight vect term weights are used to compute the degree of similarity between each document stored in the system and the user query. Formal characterization of vector model positive and non-binary weights of document which is represented by wij where j is document and i is the key particular keyword of that set of keywords positive and non-binary weight of query which is represented by wiq where I, q is query and i is nothing but the particular keyword from a set of t keywords total number of keywords in a query are t therefore it is t dimensional i is keyword and it will goes from 1 to T. Vector representation for both query and document which is represented by Q bar is equal to W1Q, W2Q up to W2Q and DJ, W1J, W2J, WTJ. Basic idea is of clustering for a vector model. The IR problem can be reduced to the problem of clustering in which two clusters are there one is relevant with respect to query and another one is irrelevant two types of clustering concepts are used intra cluster in which term frequency concept is used and inter cluster in which inverse document frequency concept is used intra cluster similarity term frequency concept is used for intra cluster similarity the length of the document that is number of words varies in document collection as a result when document is large in size, the likelihood of key terms being repeated is greater than when a document is small in size. However, the importance of keyword in small size document should not be decreased. Document key terms are normalized between 0 to 1 for each document. That's why it is called as an intra-cluster similarity. Next is inter-cluster similarity. TF-IDF that is inverse document frequency concept is used. It is checked across the document. If particular term appears in all documents, it indicates that keyword is common and TF measurements reduce its relevance. But keywords appearing in only few documents raise their importance. So this is very important and it will find out whether that particular keyword in query is common or it is not common. This type of formulas are used in vector modeling. Now, this formulas looks difficult, but they are very easy. And when we solve the problem, it becomes very easy how to apply this formula. First, we calculate the intra-cluster similarity by calculating the f of ij. f of ij is a measure which will normalize the value of frequency between 0 to 1 for that particular keywords. Inter-cluster similarity, here we calculate the inter-cluster similarity across the document across the document the formula is log n divided by ni where n is total number of documents in the system while ni is the number of documents in which this particular index term ki appears now the variation can be possible in the idea of formula as log of 0 is undefined and log of 1 is 0 so we are adding the 1 plus as a smoothing operation so here uh, we can so while solving the problem we can use this formula also or this formula also but this formula provides a form uh, provides a smoothing and when we implement in software then this formula is useful after that we require to calculate wij and wiq this is nothing but the j document and q query here we require to normalize frequency by that um, inverse document frequency that is the intra cluster that is basically we are multiplying intra cluster and inter cluster similarity and in wiq we are adding this 0.5 as a base factor uh, for example when we give the query it is not possible for the user to write down all the keywords 
so even the user didn't write some of the keywords by default we are getting some weight to that particular keywords and here again this is nothing but the intercluster similarity for the query and it is again multiplied by the intercluster similarity of the documents Finally, degree of similarity between the vector Q and vector DJ is find out by the following formula. So this is the formula to find out the similarity between the two vectors. This is one vector which is respect to document and this is a vector with respect to query. So angle will decide. So this similarity is nothing but the cosine angle between these two vectors. So when they are very much similar, the angle is zero and when they are apart, then the angle is increases. Now when we multiply the two vectors, so in the numerator we require to take their corresponding element uh, multiplication and then summation and in denominator we take the norm of that particular vector so here for when we calculate the similarity of multiple documents with that particular query then this factor that query is same and only documents are changing so this factor will be same for all uh, similarity finding calculation therefore the factor q bar does not affect the ranking because it is the same for all documents the factor vector dj provides a normalization in the space of documents now let us start with the exercise three documents are given cat runs behind rat dog runs behind cat dog cat and rat runs behind cheese query is cat cheese these are the four steps we require to follow first is taming and stop word removal so here we are checking which stop words are there so only we can find out only and keyword as a stop word all other words are the relevant words or the they are the basic form of the words after that we will find out the intercluster similarity then intercluster similarity and at last cosine similarity between the document vector and the query vector after stemming and stop word removal the words are cat run behind rat dog and cheese now here these six keywords are there as we require to normalize that is to apply the intra cluster we require to calculate the maximum frequency of these keywords so this is document 1 document 2 document 3 in document 1 we will check which keywords appear and we will write down just count now here we can find out that maximum keyword repeat for one time so maximum frequency comes one so we require to find out the maximum value and we have to put there then similarly we can do for document 2 and document 3 and even we can do for the query because we are also normalizing the query between 0 to 1 now here the maximum frequency is 1 so when to calculate when we calculate f of ij we require to divide all these values by 1 so it does not make any change so we are getting the same answer because it is already normalized between 0 to 1 document 1 document 2 document 3 now this is normalized because we divide this all these terms value by one all by one all by one now we require to find out the intercluster similarity for intercluster similarity we require to find out this keyword is repeated in how many documents so here we are just taking whether cat is present in document one yes yes and yes and we are keeping that count so we are not counting the frequencies here but here we are actually checking whether this particular keyword is present across how many documents so we are getting these words now here we can find out that cat run behind is very much common rat dog are that not much common and cheese is rare in our documents now first we will calculate the 0.5 plus f of iq because we are adding this 0.5 to the query so we are getting this first we normalized and after that we require to add the 0.5 value so we are getting this 1.5 0 0.5 0.5 0.5 1.5 and 1.5 after that this is the last column is nothing but idf the formula is log of 1 plus n divided by ni now 1 plus n is nothing but total number of documents the documents are 3 3 divided by how many times that words appear now here the word appears for three times so 3 by 3 that is log of 2 which is equal to 0.30 now we are getting this result and here we can easily observe that the cheese word is is not frequent it is a rare word so we are getting the highest weight for this 
and the words which are very much common we are getting the weight point 30 and in between we are getting the range of point 40 so this is the work of intercluster similarity so for calculation we apply this formula next we require to multiply this idf measure to this and even query so this is our next table so we multiplied whatever the result we got in this slide of idf to the document vector as well as the query vector so we require to multiply this to all this and this query so after multiplication we are getting the result like this now this is one of the document vector and this is nothing but the query vector now we require to find out the cosine similarity between these two vectors the, now this is wij and this is wiq when we multiply this global measure that is the intra cluster similarity we are getting wij and similarly for query when we multiply we will get the wiq now the results are shown for document 1 so document 1 we will copy all values and similarly for the query now here in the numerator we require to multiply each term so this is nothing but the multiplication of the corresponding terms and summation is 0.31 so numerator is 0.31 denominator is nothing but the norm of the document and the norm of the query now we require to make the square of each term take the summation and the square root that value is 0.66 and similarly for query it is 1.07 so we are getting the similarity with this document one for query cat cheese we are getting the value 0.44 now we'll check with the second document now this is a document two document two we are getting the similar answer 0.30 because values are same that's why we are getting the similar answer so here we are getting the answer 0.44 for document 3 we are copy all value of wiq and this is the value of wij when we multiply we are getting the answer as this is 0.93 and denominator 0.98 and 1.07 this term will be common for all the document similarity because it is with the query vector now this is 0.93 divided by 0.98 into 1.07 we are getting the answer 0.89 so if we rank the document so document 1 we get 0.44 document 2 we get 0.44 and document 3 we get 0.89 so ranking wise document 3 is more close to our query because query is cat cheese and cheese word is present in that document and one minute and cat is also present so similarity is the most so ranking wise the document 3 will come first then document 1 and document 2 because they are similar values so this ranking is given by the vector model advantages of vector model the retrieval performance is improved by its term weighting method with the help of its partial matching approach documents that roughly match the query conditions can be retrieved the documents are sorted using its cosine ranking formula based on how similar they are to the query disadvantage that here the index terms we make the assumption that index terms are independent of one another and that is nothing but the disadvantage but in advanced method we can take the help of nlp approaches to make the dependency between the index term to get the good result these two reference books are used for the preparation of this presentation that is modern information retrieval and information to introduction to information retrieval by the manning so this is all about explanation about the classic vector model in the next video i am going to cover more exercise on vector model thank you